Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you the top 5 places to visit in Australia, the land down under. Australia is a huge and diverse country, with amazing natural wonders, vibrant cities, and rich culture. Whether you're looking for adventure, relaxation, or inspiration, there's something for everyone in Australia. So, without further ado, let's get started. 5. Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House is a stunning attraction that offers many things to see and do. Here are some of the options that you can visit. The Opera House to the Botanic Gardens Walk A scenic walk that takes you from the iconic building to the lush gardens. Where you can enjoy the views, the flora, and the fauna. Joan Sutherland Theatre The home of Opera Australia and the Australian Ballet where you can watch world-class performances of opera, ballet, and musicals. Mare and Full Lawn A spot in the Botanic Gardens that offers a great perspective of the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge, perfect for taking photos or relaxing on the grass. Restaurants and Bars Where you can enjoy a meal or a drink with the best view in Sydney, such as Opera Bar, Ben Long, or Portside Sydney. Backstage Tour where you can go behind closed doors and experience the house from behind the scenes, visiting rehearsal spaces, orchestra pit, and the green room. 4. The Great Barrier Reef The Great Barrier Reef is a natural wonder that covers more than 2,300 kilometers of the northeast coast of Australia. It is home to thousands of species of marine life, coral, and islands. There are many ways to visit and enjoy this amazing ecosystem, such as scuba diving and snorkeling, where you can get up close and personal with the colorful coral and fish, and see the reef from underwater. Sailing and cruising. Where you can relax on a boat and explore the different islands and keys, such as Whitsunday Islands, Green Island, or Fitzroy Island. Fishing. Where you can try your luck at catching some of the reef's inhabitants, such as coral trout, red emperor, or Spanish mackerel. Just make sure you follow the rules and regulations for fishing in designated zones. Glass Bottom Boat Tours where you can see the reef from above without getting wet, and learn more about the marine life from a guide. Scenic Flights Where you can admire the reef from the air and appreciate its size and beauty. You can choose from helicopters, planes, or even hot air balloons. Mini Submarine Rides Where you can explore the reef in a three-person mini submarine, guided by an expert. You can launch straight from the beach and enjoy a hassle-free adventure. 3. Uluru Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a massive sandstone monolith that rises from the heart of Australia's Red Centre. It is a sacred site for the Aboriginal Anang people, who have lived in the area for thousands of years. There are many things to do in and around Uluru, such as See Uluru at sunrise or sunset. Where you can witness the changing colors of the rock as it reflects the light of the sky. You can choose from different viewing platforms or join a guided tour to learn more about the history and culture of Uluru. Hike around the Uluru Base Walk where you can explore the 10.6-kilometer circuit that takes you around the base of the rock. You can see ancient rock art, water holes, caves, and plants along the way. Segway or cycle around Uluru, where you can enjoy a fun and eco-friendly way to see the rock. You can rent a Segway or a bike and follow a designated path that covers most of the base walk. Visit the Cultural Center, where you can learn more about the Anang people and their connection to Uluru. You can see displays, artworks, videos, and exhibits that tell their stories and beliefs. You can also join a dot painting workshop or buy some souvenirs from the local artists. Visit Kadat Judah, where you can see another impressive rock formation that consists of 36 domes. You can hike through the Valley of the Winds or the Walpa Gorge, or take a scenic flight over the landscape. Be amazed by the Field of Light installation, where you can see thousands of colorful lights illuminate the desert near Uluru. The installation is created by artist Bruce Munro and is a stunning sight to behold at night. Do the Great Ocean Road The Great Ocean Road is a scenic coastal drive that stretches for 243 kilometers along the southwest coast of Victoria, Australia. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the country, offering stunning views of the ocean, cliffs, beaches, and forests. There are many things to do on the Great Ocean Road, such as Experience the Twelve Apostles which are towering limestone pillars that rise from the sea. You can see them from various lookouts or take a helicopter ride for a bird's eye view. Surf at Bells Beach, which is one of the world's best surfing spots and hosts the annual Rip Curl Pro Surfing Competition. You can watch the pros or try your own skills on the waves. See wildlife at Tower Hill Wildlife Reserve, which is a volcanic crater that has been restored to its natural state. 
you can see kangaroos, koalas, emus, echidnas, and many birds in their natural habitat. Visit historic lighthouses such as Cape Otway Light Station, Split Point Lighthouse, and Cape Nelson Lighthouse. You can learn about their history, climb to the top, and enjoy the views. Hike in the rainforest. Such as at Great Otway National Park, where you can see waterfalls, ferns, and ancient trees. You can also walk along the treetops on the Otway Fly Treetop Walk. Explore seaside towns. Such as Torquay, Lorne, Apollo Bay, and Port Ferry. You can enjoy their cafes, shops, galleries, and festivals. 1. Blue Mountains National Park Blue Mountains National Park is a World Heritage listed park that covers an area of over 2,400 square kilometers in New South Wales, Australia. It is famous for its dramatic landscapes, diverse wildlife, and Aboriginal culture. There are many things to do in Blue Mountains National Park, such as See the Three Sisters and Echo Point which are three rock formations that stand above the Jameson Valley. You can see them from various lookouts or walk down to the giant stairway and cross the Honeymoon Bridge to the First Sister. Visit Wentworth Falls, which is one of the most spectacular waterfalls in the park. You can see it from several lookouts or hike along the National Pass Trail, which passes by the falls and offers stunning views of the valley. Admire Govett's Leap and Pulpit Rock, which are two of the most impressive cliffs in the park. You can see them from Govett's Leap Lookout or walk along the cliff top track or the pulpit rock track, which offer panoramic views of the Gross Valley. Explore Lura, which is a charming town that has a variety of cafes, shops, galleries, and gardens. You can stroll along the Lura Mall, visit the Lura Cascades, or enjoy a picnic at the Everglades Historic House and Gardens. Ride Scenic World, which is a tourist attraction that offers four ways to experience the park. You can ride the Scenic Railway, which is the steepest passenger railway in the world, the Scenic Skyway, which is a glass-bottomed cable car that glides over the valley, the Scenic Cableway, which is a cable car that descends into the valley, or the Scenic Walkway, which is a boardwalk that winds through the rainforest. Discover Gen Olin Caves, which are some of the oldest and most spectacular caves in the world. You can join a guided tour to see different chambers, formations, and underground rivers, or explore them on your own with a self-guided audio tour. So, these are the top 5 places to visit in Australia. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more travel tips and videos. And let me know in the comments what are your favorite places to visit in Australia. Thank you for watching and see you next time.